Hello and welcome everyone. Today on the menu we have goulash soup. This recipe that I'm about to share with you is actually inspired on the traditional Hungarian goulash soup. It also uses paprika, which is a very special spice that goes into it. There's Hungarian paprika. It's not available where you are. You can just use regular ground paprika for the recipe. But it's kind of its main ingredient, its main special feature that makes it so traditionally goulash. There's also a Polish version of the soup. There's all kinds of different versions of the goulash soup. So the version that I'm sharing with you today is kind of an inspiration of all of these different recipes that I made my own and that I'd like to share with you today. First things first, filling up your pot with water about halfway through. Setting the heat to medium high. Beef will go first and we'll cook in total for 25 minutes. For my potatoes, I selected this two bite potato blend. Oh, one is running away, here you go. And I'm gonna cut them up into smaller pieces, but I like the texture of them. I also like how they would appear in the final, actually in the final dish. So that's what I recommend. Of course, you can use regular potatoes as well. Cutting up my potatoes into two parts. I like the color and the mix here. You can cut them up into even a slightly smaller pieces depending on your preference. As you can see, I'm using a different board and a different knife compared to when I was cutting up my chunks of beef. I look at these potatoes, isn't that a pretty color? It kinda looks like sausage. And potatoes going next. From the recipes that I've seen online, they actually recommend using not just one, but two onions. And that's what I'm going to do today. Now to continue sautéing our vegetables, we're going to cut up peppers and throw them in together with the onions and the carrots. And adding peppers next.
forget to store occasionally. And after about 10 minutes of sauteing vegetables on medium heat, we're going to combine everything together with uh, potatoes and beef. Now after adding your sauteed vegetables into the stew, we're going to also add diced tomatoes and the beef broth and cook it all together for about five more minutes. Adding diced tomatoes, I actually don't drain them. Some recipes actually call for tomato sauce in the goulash soup. Now adding some beef broth. As you can see for this soup, we're actually following the same simple three-step process. First, we're preparing the stew, which in our case includes the stewed beef and also potatoes. The second step is preparing sautéed vegetables, which in our case includes onions, carrots and also sweet peppers. The third step is then to combine it all together. The second step is preparing sautéed vegetables. In our case, it's going to be onions, sweet peppers, now after combining your broth and the, now after combining your stew, now after adding your for my potatoes, I selected this two-bite potato bell. Not a very friendly onion.